So Amazon PPC bulk operation is perhaps the best and the easiest way or the fastest way to edit multiple campaigns at once. Hey sellers, I'm Ria Mittal and welcome back to another guide video by Seller App. Before we move forward with today's video, I have a question for you all. How many PPC campaigns are you running currently? If you said more than one, this video is definitely for you because in this video, we are going to be covering Amazon PPC bulk operations and what additional features Amazon has for you in the new update. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the updates. We are going to be comparing version one versus version two. And of course, I'm going to be giving you a demo on how you can use bulk operations by uh, Amazon. So without further ado, let's get started. Hey guys, so before we move on with today's video, if you like this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to Seller App's YouTube channel and click the bell icon so you do not miss any new content that Seller App gives out every week, by the way. So yeah, let's get started. So if you're new here and are wondering what is Amazon PPC bulk operation? So Amazon PPC bulk operation lets you edit your campaigns en masse. You can do this by downloading templates and spreadsheets directly from Seller Central. I'll be showing you where you can find that by the way. All you have to do is just change the values wherever necessary and you're done. So let's take a look at what are the changes that you can make using this tool. The first one is you can create new ad campaigns, ad group, keywords, or SKUs. Second is pause active campaigns, keywords, um, ad groups, and SKUs. You can enable each ad campaign, ad group, and keywords. You can also optimize bids and placement. And the last thing that you can do is negative product and keyword targeting. So Amazon PPC bulk operation is perhaps the best and the easiest way or the fastest way to edit multiple campaigns at once. So if you're wondering if Amazon PPC bulk operation is for you, this is a question that I get a lot. So of course, this depends on the numbers of campaigns that you're managing and the amount of time it takes for you to manage those campaigns. So if you are a new seller or if you're not running a lot of PPC campaigns or are just managing one, you can obviously go to the advertising console on Amazon and make changes there directly. However, things start to get very complicated once you have multiple campaigns to manage and it is very time consuming to edit those altogether. Bulk operations help you manage scale changes across a large number of campaigns, ad groups, ads, keyword, and product attribute targets. Bulk sheet is more efficient option helping you save time and effort. So if you have been selling on Amazon for a while now and you have multiple campaigns running across uh, your products, you know how time consuming it is to edit all of them. So yes, bulk operation then becomes an essential tool for you. And I know most of you out there are already using Amazon bulk operations. And if you want to understand uh, what's the new update, we're going to be talking about just that. So now I'm going to be telling you all the new features that Amazon has added in the bulk sheet operation 2.0 version. So that's the new version. So let's take a look at what we are going to experience in the 2.0 version. So the first one is perhaps the most interesting one because Amazon has finally listened to us that you can now edit your sponsored display campaigns. Amazon now provides you the ability to edit create and manage all your sponsored display campaigns. Two, now in addition to display campaigns, column A will also be the product field. So this is where you'll also see your campaign type, which is sponsored display, sponsored brand, and sponsored product. Third, the next update is entry field. This is column B, which was previously known as record type in the previous update of the bulk sheet. So this defines which part of the campaign you're updating or of course, creating. This could be your ad group keyword or campaign and much more. The next update is operations in the field or column C. So let's take a look what Amazon has to say about this. In the new operation column, you can indicate the action that should occur in a given row. Options include creating, updating, or archiving. With sponsored brands bulk sheet, there is also an option to submit when you create a draft campaign, which creates the campaign but prevents it from launching while in draft mode. The fifth update is that you can now update campaign and ad group name in your bulk sheets. So this lets you reuse your uh, bulk sheet and of course, uh, update your names in a more effective way. So six, there are new metrics for you to see uh, in your Amazon bulk sheets. These include CPC, which is cost per click, ROAS, and conversion rate. This helps you optimize your bids more effectively. Seven, there is a new updated date version in the new uh, Amazon bulk sheets. You have to now enter your date as year month date. 
So let's take a look at an example that will help you understand this better. So for example, if the date is 25th May 2022, you would have to write it as the year first, which is 2022, followed by the month, which is 05 May, followed by the date, which is 25th. So that is everything that is new in 2.0 version of uh, Amazon's bulk sheet. So before I move on to the demo of how you can use 2.0 uh, bulk sheets by Amazon, I'm going to be telling you some tips and tricks that will help you understand the demo better and help you avoid some common mistakes that Amazon sellers make. We are going to be looking at this in form of an animation, so let's get started. One, you can now exclude or include brand asset data when you are downloading a bug sheet. On the bug operation page, you will see a checkbox that will exclude brand assets data before you download your sheets. If you want to see your brand assets, make sure you uncheck this box. Two, if you want to remove or update keywords in a campaign, you can do it in a single bug sheet. All you have to do is set the operation columns to achieve and then add the keyword IDs. If you want to add new keywords to the same sheet, use create in the operation column and add keywords in the keyword text column. Third, here's something you cannot do in your advertising console. You can add multiple ad groups under single campaign, enabling you to group your ads by your preferred attributes. Fourth, last but not the least, read-only fields are now relevant when you create a new campaign and these cannot be edited. However, these columns are helpful when you're downloading and reviewing any existing campaign data. Here are four known issues in bulk operations and current workarounds that you can employ. First, negative keywords cannot be paused. You can remove the keywords by setting the operation columns to achieve. Commas as well as symbols are not supported when you're entering numbers. For sponsored brands, 100 keywords are the maximum allowed limit when you are creating a new campaign. However, when you're updating an existing campaign, there are no keyword limitations. So you can get around this issue by using two bulk sheets. So keep these points in mind when you're working on Amazon bulk sheets version 2.0. So now we are moving forward to the most exciting part of the video where I teach you how you can use the updated 2.0 version of the Amazon bulk sheets. So before we move forward, make sure that you're following this step by step. I'm going to be talking about where you can find your templates and spreadsheets to download from, how you can edit them and how you can upload them. So let's get started. So to get started, you need to know where you can find your spreadsheets. Fortunately, it is not very difficult to do so. Let me show you how. First, you have to log into your Seller Central account and navigate to the Advertising Console. Click on Sponsored Ad tab and then you can select the Bulk Operation option. So this is the page where you download the bulk sheet. Now comes one of the most important things to remember. There are two bulk sheet options to choose from. First is use the new spreadsheet format and the second one is use the legacy sp uh, spreadsheet format. So if you're making uh, updates to an existing campaign, you can select a specific date range for performing the metrics by clicking here. For this demo, we don't need it as I'm going to show you how to create a new campaign using a bulk sheet. Another important thing under the exclude section, campaign items with zero impressions will be checked. This means any existing campaigns that have zero impressions will not appear in the bulk sheets that you have downloaded. So make sure that the campaign items with zero impressions is always unchecked. So now we're going to click on create spreadsheets for download. Once downloaded, you can now start creating a new bulk spreadsheet or bulk sheet. If you want to create a new bulk operation spreadsheet to create a campaign, just click on download a bulk operation templates button below. You can use any of your favorite softwares to edit this spreadsheet like Microsoft Excel, Google Sheets or Apple Numbers. It is completely up to you. So once you've opened it, you will see that the spreadsheet is segmented into four sheets or four tabs. The first one is Portfolio tab. I see Sponsored Product Campaigns tab, Sponsored Brand Campaign tab and of course Sponsored Display Campaign tab. For this demo, let's create a Sponsored Product Campaign. The first column that you need to fill is product. Just add sponsored products in this column. The next column that you need to add is entity. Since we're creating a new campaign, you can you need to mention campaign in this column. The next column that you need to fill is the campaign name. For this demo, I'm going to give the name Cellwrap Demo Exact. The next field that you need to fill are the campaign start date and campaign end date. 
As we mentioned, the date format must be entered as year month date. Let's give today's date as the start date as an and end date two months from now. In the next column, you need to mention targeting type of your campaign. Let's create a manual campaign, so type in manual in the column. The next thing you need to do is mention the state. Mention the campaign status as enabled here. Next, you need to add your campaign daily budget. Give this value depending on your ad needs. For this demo, let me give a daily budget of $10. The next column that you need to fill here is bidding strategy. By default, it will be set to dynamic bidding down only. Let's keep it dynamic bidding down only for this demo. Let's move on to the next section, which is ad groups. Let's start from a new row. First, let's add the entity. Here, you need to mention it as ad group. Copy paste the campaign name. In this case, it's seller app demo exact to the same column below. The next column that you should fill is the ad group name. For this example, let me give seller app demo ad group one as the ad group name. After this, the next column that you should fill is status. As before, don't forget to mention the status as enabled. The next column that you need to fill is ad group default bid. Again, give this value depending on your needs. For this demo, let me give a max bid of $10. Now let's move on to the next section, which is product ad. As before, let's start from a new row. The first thing that you need to do is to fill the entity column with product ad. Copy paste the campaign name and ad group name to the same column below. The next column that you need to fill here is the status. Mention the status as enabled. The next column that you need to fill is status. Mention the status as enabled. Now we have arrived at the most important column for product ads, which is the SKU. This is where you specify the product that you want to advertise. You can either add your product ASIN or SKU number. So for example, I am going to just say ASIN here but you need to specify your actual ASIN or SKU number. Now let's add some keywords to this campaign. As before, I am going to start a new row. So let's fill the entity row first with keyword. Copy paste the campaign name, ad group name to the same columns below. Once again, fill the status column as enabled. So the next three columns we're going to be looking at are very important. So pay close attention to it. First, it's bid. For an example, let me give a max bid of $4, which is closer to the upper limit that was specified. But this is just an example. You should give a value that works for your ad goals. Next come keyword. For the sake of this example, I'm going to be mentioning it as keyword, but this is where you need to specify the keyword that you want your ads to show. Finally, you need to mention the match type. I'm going to go with exact. So this is how you add new campaigns, ad groups and keywords in bulk sheets. If you want to add more campaigns or ad groups, just repeat the process until you have given the details of all the campaigns that you want to create. So now let's save a spreadsheet. I'm going to name it seller app demo bulk example, then go to file and click save. So now we are going to upload our new bulk sheet. It is really simple. So we're going to go back to bulk operations within the ad console. On the right side of the page, you will see upload your files, update your campaigns. Click on upload files and upload the bulk sheet that you have saved. You can check out the upload status in the upload section below. So that pretty much covers everything that you need to know about the new updated Amazon bulk sheets version 2.0. And as you can see, it is really easy for you to update, create, and modify all of your existing campaigns in one, one sheet. It helps you save a lot of time, and but that is not it. It also gives you insights and data to monitor the health of your campaigns. So if you want to manage your campaigns on your own without using a third party software, this is perhaps the best way for you to do it. So thank you so much for watching this video, everyone. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, do not forget to let us know in the comment box below and do not forget to like and subscribe to Seller Apps YouTube channel. Your support means everything to us and thank you so much for suggesting this video. We, if you want any more videos to be created, we are always listening. Keep commenting down below on new product ideas and we will be creating videos on that. And of course, do not forget to check out our other PPC guides uh, to make sure that your campaigns are doing the utmost on Amazon. Of course, until the next time, I see you. Happy selling.